We're live. Hi, everybody out in YouTube land. Uh, of course, I had to pop on and uh, say hi to everybody and check in because it's Friday and that's what we do. But I really, you know, what I got is no comment. Um, okay, let me click all the things and people find me because I never put out a... I was busy planting flowers. And right before I came in here, I was out dinking around outside. So I, uh, yeah, I didn't. It was time well spent. And, uh, okay. Do... Let's see. I got to find my... Here we go. Guess I'm just waking my computer up. It's not ready. Come on. Oh, man. Oh, hey. Okay, so I got this. Uh, I got another postcard from there. Can you see? That's pretty good. It's Yellowstone from Luli Bell. Let's see what it says about it. Oh, Shoshone, uh, Shoshone. Is it Shoshone or Shoshone? I think it's Shoshone. Canyon of Yellowstone National Park. That's the photograph. And uh, <laughs> star date, May 19, 2022. <laughs> That's great. Hi, Susie. Greetings from West Yellowstone National Park. Wish you were here. Been uh, cleaning up the nine mile uh, hole. Cleaning up the nine mile hole. <laughs> Just love forest. It's forests places. Lily Bell. That's <sighs> so. Yep, that's my second postcard, and there's my first postcard. Two postcards from Lily. I love it. That's so fun. Checking that little, um, my mailbox and having a postcard in there. Mm. Okay, here we go. I see my show. I'm clicking the thing so I can see the chat room. How's everyone doing tonight? Oh, yeah, I saw Bill's on. Bill's on with these guys, Luli. And stuff. He's he went live from uh Bullwinkles it said. Okay, who's on him? Hello, Larry. Okay, Larry. Uh hi honey bee. Hi Huli. Happy Friday. Hi INFJ. Hi Mary Green. Hi, Winston. JK Pioneer. Sledneck. Howdy. How's it going? Davey B. Oops, I scrolled too hard and too fast. <laughs> I drove right off the screen. Now I missed up. Oh, no. Hang on. I went too fast. There we go. Hey, let's go for a walk. Hi, Jim Black. That name I do not recognize, but hello. Uh, oh, yeah, David was on. He wanted to hand off the baton, he said. I heard it. When I was, once again, him on going, am I really going to um, do this again when I have nothing? Uh, but nothing but the gossip that everyone already knows, and I don't know anything different. I don't. I don't, uh, you guys know more than I do about a lot of things. So if you guys wonder, oh, is she? No, I am not uh, affiliated. Nobody talks to me. Here, is that a better shot of my...
painting. Okay, what do we got? It's not my painting. I didn't paint it. Um, but it's mine. I bought it. <laughs> Another there, 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 there. We got it. That looks bet a better scene than. I'm not sure where this desert. If I want to say this is California, but I'm not a hundred percent. I don't know much about it. Uh, 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 I don't know shit, Susie. <laughs> I don't know shit. You're way better than Seinfeld. Larry says, who cares? Oh, snap, it's Friday again. <laughs> Show about nothing. Nothing but hearsay and speculation. candy in here she's got to go back to she's going she's getting a real job she said on monday or you know starting a real job uh okay what do i think about k-pro bought it was said got on and said that they were trying to buy the chest, but now they decided not to buy the chest. And the whole time, this whole time, she's been trying to, you know, to do it. Hmm. No wonder she knew inside information, you know? So, and, and that's fine, you know, but why, what's the motive to come out now or to come out and say, you know, I mean... I don't, well, I guess what that is, it's given us information without really giving us information. Uh, hey, can everyone hear me okay? Giving us information without really giving us information. That's what that is. That, but, but Okay, so what information can we get is that, Somebody's probably going to buy it in whole and there's more than one bidder and, uh, or, or interested party or whatever they're called nowadays. Um, I don't like this shot either. How about this? I just caught a glimpse of it on my big screen or, you know, my bigger monitor and it's like, oh, there, straighten it out. And then so you don't have to look at the dust. I took this down off the wall in the hallway and went, oh, here's, you know, plunked another painting. Here's one I, nobody saw yet. <laughs> and so, <laughs> oh. Slendex, how is a Jeep? Oh, my God. It's nothing. I still, I just, there's no. Hi, Alan Kay. Um, I, uh, it's still sitting there in the same spot that it was, uh, with just waiting for payday to come so it can go into the shop and get properly diagnosed, but it has to be, it has to be towed. It's a big dang deal and a lot of money. So, but just been making do um, with my sister, you know, taking me wherever I need to go or letting me use her car, making do until it can happen. Because no matter what, it's just like, it's going to be a thousand bucks. It's just gonna, every time anything goes wrong, it's a thousand bucks. And now everything's so expensive. Oi. <laughs> Shit. So there's still no news. It's sitting there. Exact. It's g getting dusty and full of them. All the tree debris. <laughs> yeah, it looks like an, it's sad. Mm -hmm. But hey, you know, you got to do what you got to do to make it. Ugh. Um. Anyway, did you guys, doesn't this look like the dang log that tipped over? 
that they were looking for or they found that moved away or, you know, how the tree fell over. I just looked down and saw that and just went, okay, I need to distract my my brain from that worry. <laughs> Jeez. Hi, MJ Inzer. I just wanted to say thanks. It was a tough week, a tough year, but I always want to thank you. Well, Alan, you're like, now I'll say something really funny. <laughs> thank you for being who you are. Who cares? It tells that he's trying to sell it and that it's potentially uh, won't go to auction. And that's why I really think, yeah, I think it's going to happen in a private sale. And, you know, just because it's at heritage auctions doesn't mean that they are not facilitating a private sale. They that happens all the time. And, and it's it's a thing. So, I mean, fine. But I hope it's soon. So is that what really, okay, so, uh, I'm making up conspiracies in my head, but not conspiracies. I'm trying to make the story fit with the whole, um, that whole thing with, um, a fallout between her and Ben over a book. And that seems so not realistic or, or not real, like adults don't act like that or, it seems like there's something bigger. And so I wonder if it was because if, if, if Ben was working to buy the chest with in, with in cahoots with people or, or, or something Capro knows, I don't know. I could make up stuff all day long, but I think there's more to that story than what we are privy to. Um, it just seems it's not how adults act. I don't know. <laughs> I should talk. I would. Oh, <laughs> uh, I've been sucked in. Anyway, I'm going to shut up about it. Is the chase still alive, peeps? I don't know, Bobby Brass. What do you think? Hi, David. Not California. The gasoline sign in the back doesn't have eight. Dollars ninety nine cent. Damn, gas is a four. I want to say it was four. Four, four forty nine. I think I can't remember now where I was. Just it just goes up every day, so it doesn't matter. Thanks for going live tonight. Oh. All right, Bobby Brass. Thanks for joining. I would be if if I wouldn't do this show, I would be bummed if I were all you guys. You know, because there's certain people I count on for their shows, and it's like, yeah, yeah, I look forward to it, even if it's a show about nothing. You know, I still it's our you know it's our place to hang. So I get I that's why I keep doing it because it's like. We are all connected now. Too late. We're all riding this. We're all riding the same wave. Hey, <laughs> um, street. There's street. Is that real street? Street. How did you get a wrench? Did I give you? <laughs> That's funny. Oh, I was handing them out again. I don't care. How how are things in your world? Yeah, you know, it was good because I, um, I got, uh, I got to go buy some flowers today. I got, and a couple tomato plants. Now I feel like I have enough tomatoes. I think I have like one, two, three, four, five, six, or seven, six, six different tomato plants. And I feel like, okay, that's the same. And in other news, my green beans came up already. Yay. That's exciting when it happens. You, you know, when you stick those seeds in the ground, it's like, you don't know, is it going to really do it? Is it? I don't know. And it does it. 
and it's like amazing. Every time, every year, I'm amazed by growing things and I love it. Oh, I went to yard sale today. I should have brought that up for show and tell. I bought the coolest tool. It was it's like a little saw thing, but the handle on it, it's just a you know, a small hand saw and I don't know what the proper name for them are, but it was the patina on it is amazing and it is well made and it has got to be a hundred years old. And it was it's Eric Sloan made me do it. It's just it's like, oh my God, this tool is awesome. And it was a dollar. So it's like I'm get I'm gonna drag this home and I'm gonna use it. <laughs> or use it for art. It's great. <laughs> What type of maters? Uh, tonight I put in a grape tomato plant and um, one that's called uh, Mortgage Buster or something like that. I'm like, I, I'm like, what is this? Whatever. I don't know what it is, but I bought it. It's in. Um, and then I have heirloom, like a, uh, I can't remember the type of heirloom. It seems like it's a striped, striped kind of sort. And then like a couple other kinds, I don't know. I put basil in and oregano tonight. It's a good thing. Um, Romas. I didn't put any Romas in this. That's um, brandy wine. I've got two brandy wine. I accidentally grabbed two brandy wine instead of um, one other kind that I was going to pick. So, so I got two. But that's not a bad thing. That's not a bad thing. Um, can you show your, can you show the tool? I know. I would have to run to go get it. It's downstairs and I'm upstairs in my cave, but it is totally Eric Sloan. Okay, I'm going to go get it, you guys. <laughs> I'm gonna put I'm gonna go get the tool for show and tell. I'm gonna put you guys on mute.
unmute. Wait, did I unmute? <laughs> yes, I unmute. Okay, there it is. Okay, okay. Um. Uh, look at it. It says H H is like stamped in, and it says, let's see. Uh, Keen K E E N Cutter. Keen Cutter. And there's also another name, but um is it Simmons or S C period S I M M O N S. Here's the other side. It, how it, that shiny um <laughs> this is a, this is a saw used at the log site <laughs> you're absolutely correct sir <laughs> Oh, who said that? Carrie Calloway. Okay. Um, yeah, that's my one dollar <sighs> laying there on the table. It was like, it just feels good in your hand. It's just one of those that's just like, yep, this is right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, I'm going to shut the dome light off. Stupid big old. Okay. Uh, okay. Um, please have no trace when exploring Nine Mile. Hold this weekend, peeps. They all, you know what? I think that is a total BS that people would really do anything to trash that place because that's our, you know, that's just, that's so disrespectful. And I don't think um, even the, bunny ear bad guys in the chase um they all love the chase whether they have a weird they have a funny way of showing it you know but i don't think they're gonna wreck forest special spot you know um look at what is oh no me bouncing art off took a chip out of my paint <laughs> or i don't know whatever not gonna worry about it hey um hi lucky digger eric sloan whispered buy it he it did it was like this <laughs> it was like it's true <laughs> buy that tool it's one dollar and because I picked it up and then I was like walking around with it and I was just going to put it back because I just thought, oh, this, you know, put it back. And it's like, you know what? I don't need this tool. I don't, I have, I'll probably never, but I'm, I'm going to, I'm buying it. <laughs> Very Eric Sloan, I thought to myself. Mm-hmm. I love, Susie, it's awful. His spot will soon be trampled forever. Do you think so? I don't think so. Or, you know what? It brings me back to that, you know, the tongue-in-cheek comment about, about Forrest and Eric Sloan wanting to build a bridge, but their wives wouldn't let them buy a river, you know? And, I mean, it was just like this joke, well, you just can't buy a river anyway. I mean, it's like they blamed it on their wives. <laughs> Those guys are funny. Aren't they funny? Right? Um but what if that was, you know, uh, that joke put in there because a bridge over the Madison River from Fen Rock, you know, maybe, maybe that's the river he was talking about or, you know, or that was our kind of clue that you had to. I don't know. <laughs> Like the saw. <coughs> I 
Oh my god. Wait. Okay, sorry about that. I'm back. I'm back. Uh This has to be a pruning saw. That's what you're thinking too. That's what I thought. You know what? There's a little, you know, a weed tree growing under my fence that um, I thought, oh, if nothing else, I could probably whack that thing down with that. I think it's too big for, you know, it's too big of a piece for a pruner. I don't. Hush whisper. You hope hope you're well this evening. Well, hello. That's probably the nicest thing you ever said to me, hush whisper. <laughs> well then, I'm doing just fine. And it's I hope you're well as well. That's a lot of wells. How deep is your well? <laughs> Oh, dead gummit. Uh, don't chop down a weed tree. Sell it. Oh, <laughs> I didn't mean that. I mean one that planted itself. It's actually an elm. <laughs> smoke, smoke weed every day. Oh, smoke. <laughs> Oh, funny. Dixie Cup joke. A high nomadic madman. <laughs> uh, it's a Ginsu tomato saw. <laughs> well, it's going to be with six plants in. And I dug out and put... Um, mix miracle grow soil with the real dirt and you know it it works every time mm -hmm. well i had to kind of amend the soil there because i planted tomatoes in a in a pretty close to where i planted tomatoes last year and you can never plant tomatoes in the same spot twice there's susie's gardening tip of the day <laughs> don't plant tomatoes in the same spot every year rotate your crop <laughs> oh, and that concludes Susie's tip of the day <laughs> okay I'm having a this is what I'm having did I even having a Budweiser select this one's almost gone, and I brought another full one up. Try to talk about nothing for an hour. Do show and tell of various artworks and uh, tools. Yard sale finds. I also got uh, some calligraphy pen uh, marker pens that are nice. Real art marker pens um, for a dollar, a bag of them. And there's like four different shades of brown. <laughs> uh, and what else? And this this paper, that it's, it says it's a scrapbook, but um, the paper's really like a heavier, it's a nice paper. But anyway, that was another, you know, few dollars at a yard sale. And it's like I got... <laughs> I got crayons and paper. <laughs> I refuse to grow up. Okay. Okay, you guys. Pancake time. Stavio in here? Hi, that guy. Are you the same that guy? Are you that guy that was that guy? Yeah, um, my sister found this sale, and she's like, oh, it's down in this little, um, like a little, 
it was down a private drive type situation, but, and so we thought there was one yard sale, but here, like a whole bunch of people, like all these guys got together in their little private drive area and, uh, a whole bunch of them had a sale going on. It's like, okay, this is fun. Mm -hmm. That's what I did today. And then I went to the flower store, took my sister's car to the flower shop. Mm -hmm. Um, that guy, I am that guy. Yes. <laughs> uh, Susie, a week ago you showed it. Eric Sloan painting. Did you paint it? Yes, I did. Yes, I did. And it was just sitting here, but I don't know where. It... Oh, here it is. This is I painted. Oh, it's not focusing. There's my signature. And it's it's done on a piece of cardboard, for God's sakes. I painted this painting on a piece of cardboard with... Uh, whatever crappy paint I got from Walmart like three years ago, like these dried up acrylic paints. Yeah. That's my, I wanted an Eric Sloan, so I painted one. That's how that went. I should do a cloud painting. I want to. I'm gonna. It's on my list. It's on my to-do list. I gotta get the garden in. It makes me nervous that I wasn't able to uh, get what I needed to plant things until today. And it's already June 3rd. Oh, usually I have it, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, uh, where am I? <gasps> yeah, Nomadic Madman, your cloud painting is fantastic. That painting you did is awesome. Where do you have it? Do you have it? Do you have it hung up in your house somewhere? I hope so. Just get hi Goodell gun. I see your name, but I Hi Lorraine. Hi, good to see ya. And Goodell Gun. That painting is amazing. This one I did in a few hours on a piece of cardboard from the back of a different, from the back of a tablet of paper. The very back page is cardboard. That's what this painting is. I painted it with white paint, white acrylic paint on both sides, and then I painted this. Mm-hmm. So it's basically, it's like, it's tramp art. It's outsider tramp art. <laughs> I don't know. <sighs> oh. I think I showed this one to Forrest. I'm positive I did. He was still alive when I painted this one. I'm gearing up to paint for us um, his, his, uh, you know, that picture on his, on the back flap of too far to walk that, what do you call it? His portrait. I need to paint Forrest's portrait with that, with that halo thing behind his head, you know, that, that hide with the paint. That's, that's, I need to get on that. And I can screw up, a, I could do a couple of them, you know, I can screw up, you know, can do practice ones and decide what kind of 
you know, I don't want it to be too realistic. I need it to be more, uh, I don't know. Mm -hmm. uh, I like your painting, Susie. You're good. <laughs> Thank you. Mm -hmm. I don't do it enough. I have too much. It's too much. Like, I love to do it. And when I'm doing it, it makes me so happy. But to get my brain to go there to do it is really um, a trick. And I think that's why I do garden. You know, you know, fl planting flowers in a garden is like a form of of artistic, or you know, it's being creative. I'm creating something. And I think because it, there's such a time pressure, you know, it's like you only have this small window of opportunity. And then, you know, and then three months later, you have this fabulous thing that only lasts for maybe a month and then there it's over, you know. But because of that, that window, it's like forces you out there. It's like forces me out there. It's like, uh oh, window closing. Oh, no, no, no. It's like this push where art is like. I could do that anytime. Yeah, I can paint. I know how to paint. I can paint stuff. But it's like this, I can do it. But um, it's always in my back pocket. <laughs> Why am I talking about me? Yeah, uh, I'm talking about therapy. <laughs> Put it on eBay and see if you can get 2000 bucks for it. <laughs> no way, this is my Eric Sloan painting. I would have to paint another one. Um, and then I could get rid of one, you know? I would need one. I still need one for myself. <laughs> uh Yeah, it's the color of it's the cover of seventeen uh, dollars a square inch, and and so and then the cover of eighty is a earlier version of the same scene. It's before, oops, before another building got added. So this is this is um, a earlier painting by, and then see, it's the same scene, but another extra building, the house got built. You know, between Eric's painting and, or Eric's 80 and 17, um, yeah, there's the, the diff. Um, okay, you guys, I don't know. I, do you, do I have anything else? Um, uh, yeah, you know what, Mary, I have, Gedalkin owns two, or no, owns uh, he has my original sketch I did about the by a river joke. <laughs> um, and then Linda, my friend Linda, she ended up with the other um version of that same thing. And I don't know if I, Oh, yeah, and then I did, I just painted him. No, no, I did him a thank you card. Gedelkan. But I didn't sell, I mean, I just sent him a thank you card. <laughs> Call it original and sell it. <laughs> I know, it's almost cheeky, you know, it's almost like if I... I wouldn't sell it as an original. I would sell it as an original interpretation. Uh, you know, whatever. As long as it's. <laughs> That's funny. You know, I if I did knock off Eric Sloan paintings. <laughs> I would get in big trouble. <clears throat> but 
I wonder if I painted them under the moniker Susie Fenhaven and said, these are original Susie Fenhaven paintings of Eric Sloan paintings. <laughs> you know, is that cool then? As long as, because that's what Morris did. You know, sold fakes, but he, he sold them as fakes. <laughs> it's cheeky, and I think Forrest would approve of my shenanigan. That's what I think. <laughs> Bobby. Susie DeHory. <laughs> There you go, Lucky Digger. Way to pull that out. Right, right, right. Only if you forge Eric's name. No, never. <laughs> yeah, I, well, I have tried to just for fun, not for like I was going to do anything. And for a signature. I got, I could put, I could so do for a signature so easy. <laughs> I, I wouldn't do it though without telling everybody I probably could sign one of my books so with Forrest Fenn's name and everyone would think it's signed no it's too late now I told everybody I wouldn't do that I don't even have I have one signed book my from Forrest and the wolf the wolf sent me that that particular book. Um, um, <laughs> you are famous now, so do it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what did I get myself into? Oh, man. Famous to 700 people, no way I'm. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm running out of words. Word, line, lines, <laughs> sorry. A lot of words. Chase, ink, send me my script. What am I supposed to talk about? Um, supposed to talk about uh, uh, oh yeah, Copper Dance show, and Capro came on and said she was going to buy the chest, but didn't. What else did we learn uh, this week? I need to, I listen to everybody. I don't, I should just try to jot a note or two occasionally. Um, and Candy's starting a new job. I think she's going to be, uh, I don't know. She would be, I think she's going to do really well at what she, you know, does. But I think she's going to miss us all and just be like, screw that job. I want my people back. <laughs> or is she like saying she got it? Candy, are you saying you got a real job and then you're actually up your parts being filmed and so you have to cover your absence from all of us and so I can make up conspiracies but I don't want to do I mean sorry Candy I didn't mean to that was all a lie I made that up I pulled that out my rear just for hot air which it all is And I don't understand Ben's um Ben and Ashley are up and moving to Arizona. And I don't understand what that was all about, but I think we're gonna find out. And I guess opportunity knocks, man, you go. Good for you. Uh Arizona. The, where in Arizona? I would be really interested to where. Uh, Phoenix is a hard city to 
uh, you know what I have to say about Phoenix? The line between the have and the have nots is huge. The line is like drawn in the sand. Boom. Have and have nots. It's like Black Canyon Highway. Uh, no, it's way before that. If you're on the wrong side of that highway, you might as well. It's a tough, tough town to live in and not because it's just because of it's a right to work state. Um, there are no unions. Everything is minimum wage. And and, you you know, the workers rights are. I don't know. A waitress there makes two dollars an hour, two dollars something an hour, um, and has since the nineteen eighties, and it's still that way, like two fourteen or some crazy ass bullshit. Um, but so the line there. So if you if you if you roll into Scottsdale with money. You're going to be fine. You're going to be living large. You know? Or do you get to... Be, or someplace great like Sedona. Um, Red Rocks and all that. That's so beautiful up there. Yeah, it all depends on where you land in Arizona. Maybe I don't know anymore. That was a long time ago. Um... Did the log lady from Twin Peaks take the log from Nine Mile Hole? There we go. There's more things to talk about. Whatever. Who said that place is even the right place to say that the log is gone and that's the same place? Oh, come on. Unless was it GPS coordinates everybody shared that on a secret? How do you know that was even the same spot they found? Come on. I mean, and how was that even... How do we know that Rudy isn't like such wishful thinking that he's got it wrong, you know? Until the poem says, go across the Madison from Fen Rock, 150 paces or whatever. Until I see that in the poem, I'm calling Cynthia is the one who said that Nine Mile Hole is full of crap. She literally said, people poop right there. And so it's like, why would you say that unless she wasn't insinuating this is a bunch of crap? Sucker vision. <laughs> oh. Maurice. Hi, Maurice Johnson. Some beautiful witches in Sedona. God, I I got to camp there a few times, several times. And uh, I want to say it's Oak Creek Canyon. Is that the name of it? God, that was so many years ago. But still, it's it was like... It's, spectacular anyway so uh wood joke hi davio <laughs> cindy's cynthia said they crap in the parking lot i know that's what she said so it's basically telling me there's a bunch of crap <sighs> even if it what i mean <sighs> Bears shit in the woods. So what? It just goes away. It turns into soil. Who cares? It can't be a thing that big. Is it really that big of a problem? I need to see it for myself. She tells the truth. Fishers are not going... Is that right, Mary Green? Hmm. I thought it was a hint of crap. But if that's really a thing, then, um, you know, 
fine. It still seems like it would just go away. <laughs> oh, that seems awful. Uh, if are only the non-believers left? I don't know what to believe. You know what? What I'm going to believe is Forrest. I'm going to believe um, Shiloh. I'm going to believe Jack. And, and I'm going to believe Douglas Preston. Those are like the four people that I could possibly hear from that would make me a true believer. Other than that, it's just some more, um, more noise to keep us busy. And I don't know. Uh, there's two fishing poles in the poem. The first is meek pole. And one is seek pole. I seek you. Fake gold, real gold. So yellow stones are fake gold and real gold is real gold. I'm a, a Justin Bieber. <laughs> uh... Why would you ever get out of the river to poop in the parking lot if you're fishing there? Just poop in the river. <laughs> I mean, uh, I don't know. What a funny twist on the home of Brown. What? That, that sounds like such crap. <laughs> crap. That's crap to me. Oh, I just got a glimpse of that. There's a second location yet to be found. Oh, hush, you're one of those. Okay. That painting is better than any solve I've seen. <laughs> oh. Uh... 0% of people in chat, we need likes, more thumbs up. Oh, you know what? I'm going to do, I'm going to like my own video right now because that way, um, otherwise it takes, some, I have to find it on my phone, uh, you know, to, as soon as this is done, as soon as I push the stop button, I have to set the permissions to, to public. Otherwise, it keeps it private and processes it. And then, so it's something that needs to be changed after the fact. And I think it's something to do with the fact I don't have a thousand subscribers. I don't know, but it's something that I can forget to do if I don't do it immediately. So I don't know if you guys are cut off, you know, if you can't watch this right away or if you're watching this, um, but not live, you know, if you just started now and went to the beginning and started. I don't know if it keeps going or how it works. I don't know. If you just get cut off and it says this video is private. I don't know. But anyway, this video is going to be private until I click the buttons. <laughs> and it's 9.58. I'm calling it, you guys. I'm calling it. Um, And once again, everybody, thank you for being a part of my my week, my Fen Haven Friday. Um, and I'm so glad that everybody's still, you know, we're all riding that same wave, just like I said in the beginning. But I'm pushing buttons. Have a great night. I'll see y'all again soon.